Hello family. Today we're gonna be preparing one pot of chicken soup for babies. So it's a very delicious meal that your baby gonna love and it is a meal that the whole family can enjoy too. So let's get into the video. These are the ingredients we're gonna be using to prepare this delicious meal. So using the chicken meat bone and skin provides the right combination of fat, salt, and flavor. So don't be tempted to use only meat as the flavor won't be round. Let's now um, season our chicken because it's already cut and washed. We're going to add a little bit of seasoning. You want to keep this simple because this is for a baby, but it also has to be delicious. So we're going to put our seasoning, a little bit of everything. We have put our onion powder. This is black pepper. We have the no and the onions. Adding them to it now and... This recipe will work beautifully with or without a starchy component such as noodles or rice. But if you are comfortable with those, don't hesitate to add some. And you also want to use organic ingredients whenever you are making this chicken soup for your baby. So you want to cook this food on a medium low heat and spoon off any form or scum that rises to the top. And you're going to cook it between 20 to 30 minutes. So when you are choosing a type of chicken parts to use in the soup, you should opt for more bones and connective tissues, cartilage, skin, including fat, because the marrow in the bones adds much fla more flavor and body, plus collagen and essential amino acids that help smooth the intestine wall so your vegetable are gonna be clean and peel and you're gonna cook it for 20 minutes until tender so you want to taste your soup as well to know um i added extra seasoning to it because when i tasted it from the first seasoning i used eating the soup was not really um tasty so i had to add additional seasoning so you can just taste this and make sure that it tastes right when the entire soup is cooked let it sit and cool down and remove the chicken from the bone and blend the chicken and the vegetable together in the blender so when preparing this meal in order to evolve over the cooked meat you can remove your chicken from the pot after 30 minutes so i'm gonna use the chop button on the blender because my baby is seven months old so from seven to nine months you can use the chop and if your baby is four to six months you can use the puree option on the blender because if you use the chop you're gonna be seeing little particles in the baby food and you can save this in the refrigerator for four days but if you want it to stay a little longer you can save it in the freezer in a glass bowl or continue for three months i hope you found this video helpful Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. God bless you.